Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Arizona Dreams. Today I'm sitting in sunny Phoenix, Arizona weather, uh, and it is starting to become the summer months. Uh, today I think we're supposed to get a high of 95. So let's talk about weather. That's, that's what our video is going to be about today. Arizona winter, great, uh, in the valley, specific to the valley of the sun. Uh, 50s and 60s, I'm sorry, 60s and 70s for highs and 40s and 50s for lows in the winter time. And the winter usually runs around November to Marchish, and it varies a little bit. Uh, literally from March till April, early June, when you should be having your spring, that's typically not the case here. It kicks in pretty fast and full gear right into a summer type of uh, heat. So summer is a reverse winter for those of you like myself that are from back east. I'm from the Great Lakes area, but call the whole east coast back east. You're used to winter month unless you're from the south. Um, <clears throat> here it's the same. We get uh, temperatures pretty consistently over 100 degrees. Um, average number of days where it is over 100, 109. It does get hot, uh, but we're not the hottest city in the state. The hottest city in the state, according to AZ Central, is Havasu City. Uh, and I want to say it was 128 was their highest recorded temperature. <laughs> Speaking of heat and cell phones. One, I've got some black on my case and it's getting hot sitting here just talking to you guys. You'll also see these things give you warnings um, that they're overheating. My watch does it. I have, I have an Apple watch. It does it too and it'll throw up a big red insignia on it because it's too hot in the direct sun. Speaking of overheating and black, uh, most people's steering wheels are darker in color. Uh, and the seats as well in your cars. Um, you can also burn yourself. Uh, if you have pleather, leather, plastic, uh, those seats you can scald your legs. Uh, I've done it myself. I've, I've gotten in and said, jumped right back up and out of my Jeep um, because it was too hot on the seat. Um, so you'll see a lot of people with cushions and covers that don't get as much heat. Uh, something else about the heat that uh, you don't deal with back east, the paint. Um, back east you deal with uh, you know, salt from the winter. Well, the winter here, i.e. the summer, um, can peel your paint. Uh, so most people try to park their cars when they're leaving them at work or just out for the day. They try to get them under shade because you'll see a lot of these cars out here and you can tell which ones have been in the valley for a while because the paint looks like it's chipped or faded. One last thing about pets because uh, I'm a dog guy. I will tell you the first time I came out here, um, walking my dog, I didn't think about it because normally she would walk in the grass. But on the concrete or God forbid on the blacktop, she would she would be whimpering sometimes uh, if I didn't move across quickly enough. And, and you're talking about a 60 pound dog. Um, so you gotta be very conscious of the heat on your pets as well. You gotta hydrate them like crazy and you gotta watch out because they'll burn their paws. Those pads burn. Uh, and they burn pretty quickly, so you got to be really careful about that. Uh, same thing for kiddos. Don't let your kiddos out there running around barefoot um, because just like a dog's paws or a cat's paws, your kids or your feet for that matter can get burned pretty quickly from this heat. <clears throat> Let's talk about what it feels like. For me personally, I kind of enjoy the heat. A lot of people complain that it feels like somebody's taking a hair dryer and aiming it right in your face and it's just blowing at you. And I will say that when you're driving, uh, if your car windows are down and it's 100 and something degrees, you, you do feel a little bit of hot air instead of that cool breeze, uh, which I'm actually getting a cool breeze right now. We actually have a video, my daughter has a video uh, that almost was picked up by CNN uh, when it was, I think, over 100. And she was doing a science experiment to see if you could cook an egg on our driveway, a concrete driveway, not blacktop, uh, and you can. Alright, so today, it is so hot today, it is 118 degrees. So the heat's hot enough that without any utensils or anything to accelerate the heat, you can cook an egg. It looks about cooked enough for me, although I definitely wouldn't eat it. Um, so that's a little bit more about the heat, the blazing heat that everybody talks about that, you know, everybody says, I don't want to live in the desert. Well, think of it as the reverse winter. There are places around that aren't the Valley of the Sun. You got Flagstaff, that's the Purple Mountains majesty of the country. Uh, so they actually do four seasons and they get some considerably uh, heavy amounts of snow in the wintertime and their winters can do just like the east is feeling right now. 
Um, you've got uh, Sedona, which is about midway between the upper northern portion of the state and the valley. Uh, so they get some, some colder weather, and they get some seasons, and they get some gorgeous summertime weather. Uh, but they do get a little bit of heat, too. Um, so I said Sedona, I said Flagstaff, Payson is another area that uh, is up on the rim. And they call it the rim because it's literally the rim of the mountains, right? And they get some, some uh, nice seasons as well. It's very wooded, very green. I'm sure we'll do a video to all three of those areas uh, coming soon. I, I need to tell you about uh, monsoon season. Everybody thinks that uh, much like Southern California, it never rains in the valley. Well, that's not true. Um, it rains, and it rains hard. Uh, we have what we call monsoon season, and it's tr torrential downpours during those monsoon seasons. I may have my start and ends off by a little bit, but typically June through about the end of September, and it gets worse as you get closer to fall, um, where we tend to see more of the monsoon storms happening, but I believe technically it starts right in June uh, for the beginning of monsoon season. At that time, you get torrential rain, uh, and, it, and it can hit you hard. It's kind of like a Florida rain, if you're familiar. It can come quick, hit hard, and then all of a sudden it's clear and dry. Um, it's humid during that time. Uh, you can feel the rain coming, uh, and it also does dust storms uh, before it and after it, and it's due to the pressure. Uh, so kind of interesting. People used to be referred to come out to Phoenix for allergies because the allergens were so low. Well, we're so populated now, we're fourth in the nation now, um, pollution's up. But when monsoon season's here and the monsoon comes, it hits, and then all the dust is settled and cleared, so you can actually see real clear, kind of like it used to be when I first moved out here. Um, and it's really pretty. Uh, and then slowly that pollution gets loosened back up and then you kind of get the fog and stuff, or smog rather than fog. So that kind of gives you an idea of what the weather is like here in sunny Phoenix, Arizona and the Valley of the Sun and all the suburbs around it. Uh, and this beautiful weather that I'm sitting in today recording this video. We're gonna have another video telling you how to get out of this heat and what we do to deal with the massive heat. But check for that one soon. Otherwise, you know the drill. Subscribe, share, like. Give me those comments. Tell me where you want me to go and what you guys need to know about Arizona. See you for the next video. Take care.